previous video, we went through the processes of how to test a wheel speed sensor. But what if going through those tests you find that the wheel speed sensor is fine, but you're still getting an ABS wheel speed sensor code? Well, in this video, we're gonna be walking through the process of testing from that wheel speed sensor connector, the harness side uh, to the ABS module. Some things you'll need, uh, access to a wiring diagram. We know what these wires look like by the wheel, but we need to know what pins by the ABS module those wires uh, run into. Sometimes wire color, maybe one color at the sensor, but change colors uh, somewhere down the line to a different color. So we just need a wiring diagram. I'll show you what the wiring diagram looks like for this vehicle, uh, just for conversational purposes, but it'll be different, of course, for your vehicle, unless you're rolling with one of these. Some tools you'll need, voltmeter, and for this, uh, we'll need volts and ohms. Possibly a test light, that's up to you. A voltmeter uh, does the job, but a test light can come in handy. And possibly a set of jumpers. These are just alligator clips, but a set of jumper wires, and that's it. So, let's get uh, to testing. This is what a wiring diagram could look like. We're gonna focus right here on this right front wheel speed sensor. This is pin one coming out of the speed sensor connector and pin two coming out of that connector. If you follow pin one down to the ABS control module, the other end is pin seven. Follow pin two down to the control module, pin six is on the other end. This is the ABS control module connector and sometimes on the face of the connector, they'll have a number like this number one printed somewhere on the connector or a number nine printed on the connector. And that helps for locating where pin number one is and then it's a matter of just counting pins to find six and seven. So if this is pin number one, that would make this number two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's what we need. We need pin six, pin seven, and that corresponds to our uh, pin number one and number two on the ABS uh, wheel speed sensor side. So on this vehicle, the ABS module uh, back here, this box is in a pretty uh, inhospitable location. You'd have to take the cruise control off, the battery out, the battery tray in order to get access to it. The only reason why we would do this is because we found the fault to be in the harness or the ABS module. Otherwise, you wouldn't be digging this deep. For the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna do all that and disconnect, but once the wires are disconnected from that module and the wheel speed sensor, then pretty much your wire is no different than this wire here. It's just the harness and then the connector to the ABS module or the connector to the wheel speed sensor. So pretty much you're just testing something like this. So what are some possible issues within the harness? We have the possibility of a break somewhere in the harness. We have the possibility of it rubbing through. I mimicked, let me see if you can see it. Maybe not, but I mimicked a rub through spot. So it could be rubbed through and touching a ground source, or it could be rubbed through and touching a power source. The other possibilities are the connectors. Maybe the connector to the ABS module is corroded. In that case, we wanna check uh, the connectors and make sure there's no corrosion, all the pins look good inside. It could be the connector to the ABS sensor also, or sometimes there's connectors in between. It's maybe not a direct route from the sensor to the module. Maybe it takes a path to a different connector than to the module. So those are some examples. If it's a hard fault code, then I wouldn't worry about unplugging stuff. If you unplug it, just check the connector. If it's an intermittent code, those can be really challenging. They're hard enough to reproduce. I would not disconnect anything. In that case, I would probably probe uh, the wire next to the connector on either side of the connector. Because intermittents are so challenging, you don't want to accidentally solve the issue if it is a connector and not realize that you solved it. But if it's a hard fault, 
I'd say go ahead, just disconnect it. If you connect it back in and it solves it, then it was the connector. Hard faults are different than intermittents. So now that we know the different uh, scenarios that can happen within a harness, let's run through the process of testing each one. So first we'll start with maybe the wire rubbed through and it's contacting a ground source. So I have my jumper here uh, to the ground on the battery. So I'm just gonna chomp down on the wires here. So now the yellow right here, this yellow wire is making contact to a ground. So how do we test it? We need the voltmeter set on volts. And because we're looking for a ground, we want the other side to be on a positive. And then it's just a matter of going to the connector. It doesn't matter which side. It can be the ABS side of things, or it can be, or the wheel speed sensor, I mean, side of things, or the ABS module side of things. It doesn't matter. So if you look, I don't know if you can see that right there. So I'm testing the white wire first and we don't have anything. That's because it's not making a ground contact. But if we do the yellow wire, now all of a sudden you have 11.9 volts and that's battery voltage. It could be a different if it's making contact with a different sensor. Uh, it could be five volts, three volts, whatever the voltage is, there should not be a voltage. So you can see with the white, there is no voltage. That's what we're looking for. If there is a voltage, we have a problem. It's short to ground. Now let's short it to power. So really it's just the opposite. We'll put our uh, battery on positive. So now our harness is short to positive. We have our voltmeter, one lead on the negative, and then we're gonna test. So this is the white wire. Again, there's no short to power, no voltage. Now we again have battery voltage, 11.9 volts. That's our short to power. So it's the opposite, short to ground, short to power. You test it the same way, only you're testing it against either the negative side or the positive side of uh, the battery. All right, so that is quick and simple, how you can test a short to power or a short to ground. Now we're looking for an open in the circuit. So we still have it disconnected on both ends. How do we find an open? An option out there is to put your uh, voltmeter on ohms right there and then just ohm check one side to the other so this is a white wire here and you just go to the other end and do the white wire and then right there is 0.1 ohms so checking continuity that way uh, yellow wire and then over here to yellow wire again 0.1 ohms very low ohms that's what you're looking for but let's say there's an open in it. That's what it'll look like, OL. There's an open in the circuit. But just because, here's the little asterisk, just because you have continuity doesn't mean it can carry current. So we wanna make sure that our harness can carry a current. So to do that, we're gonna use a test light. To light up the bulb here, it requires electrical current. On the uh, connector, it doesn't matter which side you do, the ABS module side or the wheel speed sensor side, doesn't matter. But you could take one of those pins and hook it to a ground. And it could be a body ground, it could be the battery ground, whatever ground uh, is next to you. Then we take the test light, hook that up to a positive. If, see this is the other side, if it can carry a current, the light should light up. And there we go. So lights lit up. Now that part of the, that whole wire from the connector to the other side connector is okay. It can carry a current. If it cannot carry a current, it just won't light up. Now we either have a bad connection or we have an open in the circuit. So that's how you can test the harness side of an ABS system. What we're looking for is shorts to ground, shorts to power, uh, opens in the circuit, or a weak connection. Let's say that you're proven that your wheel speed sensor is okay, your uh, harness is okay. Well, in that case, the only thing left is the ABS module.
But before you condemn the module, we still want to check power to the module. Make sure all the powers going to the module uh, are there. And then make sure all the grounds to the module are there before uh, condemning the module. All right. Well, uh, that's all I got for you. If there's other things that you do to test a harness, put it in the uh, comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Well, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.